My name is Dr. Jennifer Eads. I'm a GI medical oncologist and associate professor of medicine at the University of Pennsylvania Abramson Cancer Center. This year, I was given the opportunity to present at the ASCO annual meeting the results of the ECOG Akron EA 2174 clinical trial. This is a randomized phase two, three study of perioperative immunotherapy in patients with localized esophageal adenocarcinoma. We decided to pursue this trial because the role of immunotherapy in the metastatic setting has been established as a successful uh, treatment option. However, the, the, uh, the role of immunotherapy in the localized disease setting is unknown. So standard of care for esophageal adenocarcinoma that is localized has been treatment with carboplatin, paclitaxel, and radiation therapy, all of the cross regimen. So in this trial, we randomized 275 patients to receive either standard of care, carboplatin, paclitaxel, and radiation therapy versus the same regimen plus the addition of two doses of nivolumab. Uh, patients then went on to have surgical resection, and our primary endpoint for the study was to determine if the addition of immunotherapy improved the pathologic complete response rate. We did see uh, in the patients receiving standard of care treatment that the pathologic complete response rate was 21% versus with the addition of nivolumab, the pathologic complete response rate was 24.8%. Uh, this was not statistically significant, indicating that there was no additional benefit to receiving nivolumab in combination with chemoradiation therapy for patients with localized esophageal adenocarcinoma. This definitely gives us insight into how further clinical trials should be designed in the localized esophageal adenocarcinoma setting and uh, has led us to understand that there does not appear to be a role for immunotherapy in the neoadjuvant say, setting. I will say that this trial has two parts. The second part, which is not being presented this year, uh, but is looking at the role of adjuvant immunotherapy uh, in patients postoperatively. We're looking to see uh, if the addition of uh, ipilimumab to nivolumab is superior to nivolumab alone in the adjuvant setting, and the results of this portion of the trial um, will be presented at a later date. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to Onkadaily on YouTube. Hit the bell icon to stay updated.